September. What's today's date, Justin? Uh, I think today is the 17th. 17th? We got a big weekend, you and I, don't we? Yeah. And we're going to be oh, no, Today is the 18th. Today's the 18th. Yeah. Move over on the camera a little bit so people can see you. Yeah, there you go. So I'm picking you up. You're on your way to Vermont mm -hmm. to do the Spartan, what is it? The Spartan... Killington uh, Beast. Killington Beast. Last year, world championship course. Cool. So going to be one of the hardest ones this year. We love skiing at Killington. We've been there many yeah. times skiing, you and I. We were just there in May doing the triathlon. Yeah. So now you're going back to do the Beast. 16 miles? Uh, it's going to be somewhere around 16 there. 16 miles. Including the obstacles. And I'm doing the SRT 20 miler, which is here in the Gunks. Uh, and Ellenville section actually starts over on the mountain uh, to, on Minnewaska. So you and I are running a cumulative mileage on tomorrow of 35 miles around that. Yeah. Give or take a few. Um, mine is a mountain course with lots of elevation gains. I'm running it with a friend of mine. And uh, there's a bunch of people running it. It's an official race that you know, there's 100, 200 runners or whatever. So that's a 20 miler that I'm doing. Last year I did the 34 mile version of mountain. I don't have that much, much time this year or an arm in the shape, but I just went out and did six. I did three last night because I'm training for the Ragnar, which is in Miami to Key West in February, which is a 200 miler between six people. We're doing the ultra version of that. So talk more about your race, what you're doing, because this is pretty exciting because um, you're pumped. You're really pumped. You're running it with Tammy, right? Yeah, I'm running with uh, people that we do CrossFit with. CrossFit with, yeah. So it's pretty much... A extremely long endurance race with obstacles. I endurance mean, race with obstacles. You can't just be a runner. You can't just be someone good at obstacles because you got to be fit all around. Yeah, you're going up and down. You have to have constantly. core. You have to have core strength. You have to have. You have to have strength to do. Well, yeah. So, so are, is there any obstacles you're worried about? Um, I haven't done a rope climb in a while. I okay. Mean, last year when I did the Spartan, I was fine. Fine. We did last on the year. Because you've done Spartans before. I've done, I've done a Spartan before. Yeah. yeah a super. This is the beast. This, this is, is the be beast. A the harder. super was what? Eight miles? Eight, yeah. Eight. eight, eight, eight so half. this is double. This is double that. How much elevation gain do you think you'll do? Because you go up Bear up. Mountain, don't you, there or something? Don't you go up? We, I mean, we're going up pretty much every peak. All, what are the six peaks at Killington? Really? I mean, we go to every single one. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow. 5,000 elevation feet, if not more. Wow. Because, I mean, they make the courses as, as, as hard as possible. possible. How, many, how many participants are going to be in this? Do you know? I'm not Just, sure. I mean, they go off in waves of like 150 every like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So, I mean, that adds up to a lot of people because there's yeah. waves all the way until the afternoon. Cool. So, the spear throw? That's going to be hard. The spear throw is hard. The sandbag carry is just... Sandbag carry, you can't burpee out of. So, if you if the sandbag breaks and you have to go all the way down to the bottom, and you get have to a, do it again. Get a new sandbag? A new sandbag and go up again. Sandbag's 40 pounds? Somewhere around there. And you have got to get, like, basically hoist this thing and take it up. Yeah, or, right. or when you get to the steeper parts where you can't hold it, you just throw it up, you walk up a step. And then throw it up. That's what people were doing last year when I saw wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, good luck to both of us this weekend. Good luck to you, Justin. Yeah. You're getting ready to leave here in a few minutes at the Vermont. You have a four-hour drive ahead of you. Yeah. I got to work the restaurants today because we have a beer dinner tonight, and um, both the restaurants are going to be packed tonight, so I'll be here. And 10.30 is my race time tomorrow. What time is your race time? I think we're going off at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. How many hours do you think it's going to take you? Last year when I went up and watched with them, they it took them nine hours to nine hours. people that I was with. Okay. But, I mean, that's not a great time. It's not a bad time. We're going for around seven. Okay. Eight, that'd right. be a respectable time. Okay. And I'll probably be out for three and a half hours doing my yeah. thing. Three and a half, four hours doing my thing tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. Have a good weekend, Justin. All right. And uh, I guess we'll share the results on Monday, right? When yeah. You're back. When I'm back. All right. What are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Anything exciting? Any ultra endurance? Any endurance? Any things you guys... Who else is doing the Beast? Who else is doing the Beast? Say hi to Justin if you see him there. And if you're doing the SRT, say hi to me.